Now, the leaders of Russia and America have held an urgent phone call in which they discuss Syria and North Korea. Let's cross live now to RT's Ilya Petrenko for more. Hello there, Ilya. So, what was said during the call? Kate, hi again. Well, we are finally uh, got to a point when uh, we've learned the details both uh, from the White House, which called the phone conversation, quote, a very good one, and also the Kremlin. Their description of it is uh, constructive and businesslike. Mr. Putin and Mr. Trump agreed that all parties must do all they can to end the violence in Syria, and they also want to bring an end to terrorism in the country. And in order to achieve those goals, the presidents have agreed um, to intensify contacts between their top diplomats, Sergei Lavrov and Rex Tillerson. Another thing that the leaders agreed on is that there's an urgent need to use specifically diplomatic means to de-escalate the crisis on the Korean Peninsula. We understand that uh, soon we're going to find out about more phone calls between Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump in the future. Uh, they'll keep up with that practice. And also, they've already discussed uh, their meeting, which is likely to happen with high probability, as the White House and Kremlin uh, are saying, at the G20 summit in Hamburg. Now, just to give you an idea of how anticipated and crucial this meeting was, how desperate the journalists were to find out the details. Just take a look at what was happening at Tuesday's White House briefing. Sean. 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 Come on, Sean. 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 What is very important is uh, this phone call happened just a couple of hours after the Russian president met the German leader Angela Merkel here in Sochi. That's where they discussed uh, more or less the same issues that was Syria, uh, Ukraine, the threat of terrorism. And uh, I have to tell you that even though uh, this wasn't really the main issue, uh, there was a question asked about the allegations of uh, Russia's meddling in elections abroad, including in the U.S. So really, we cannot have a high-profile event where things like that are not talked about. This is what Vladimir Putin responded to a question by a German journalist about it. It never came to our mind to interfere in the political process of other countries. You're referring to the example of the United States, but it was never confirmed by anything or anyone. It's just gossip used in the American internal political battle. And without any evidence, you're making allegations about European countries, including a country as friendly for us as Germany. So, so much attention on the city of Sochi and Vladimir Putin's residence here today. We had Angela Merkel visiting, uh, then this phone conversation with Donald Trump. And on Wednesday, the president of Turkey, uh, Tayyip Erdogan, will be here as well. And here on RT, we'll be keeping you up to date. Yes, yeah, certainly a very busy day in Sochi. Ilya Petrenko, thank you very much indeed.